this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask! Today, well, I thought I'd show some things that uh, you guys wanted me to show that I didn't during the regular LP. And so yeah, this is from a save file that I made after defeating the final boss and all that. And when you do that, if you already have the Fierce Deity Mask, it's in your inventory now, and all the other masks are with are back in your inventory too. But you can't use the Fierce Deity Mask outside of boss fight, the major boss fights, the four of those. Unless you use like a, a glitch or something like that. But the thing I wanted to show you today was if you go back into the clock tower here, the Happy Mask Salesman has some remarks about each of the masks that you collected. Uh, the non-transformation masks, that is. Because, like, here... Yeah, he basically says the same thing for, like, the Zora mask. But he just goes on with whatever he was talking about before, at the beginning of the game there. But, uh... Yeah, I know. I, I was kind of there. Time's eternal for me. But, uh, okay. But alright, okay, so now, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the other masks that we've gotten here. And see what he has to say about them. There we go. How about the postman? Oh, so it is. Oh, it is? I thought he's on, like, a pretty rigid schedule. But, uh, yeah, I've delivered letters and sometimes done it personally. But, all right, let's see. The Keaton Mask. From the last game. Oh, what do you mean, long ago? Well, I suppose Cafe was a child long ago. I was thinking he was referring to, like, generations ago or something. But, uh, no, no. I'll... Keep on working on it. Let's see. The... What is that? Romani's mask? Yeah, there we go. Took me a moment to remember that. Oh. Okay. So I can buy booze. And all that. Or eggnog or whatever you got. But, uh, okay. Let's see. We got... What the hell is this thing? Trying to remember the name of this mask. What is it? Well, whatever it is. Oh, I would have never guessed that. I totally forgot the guy's name there. The guy who, on top of the big stone mushroom pillar structure thing. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, so we have. Well, I got a better one now. Better than the one you had. But alright, let's see. Let's get all the rest of these ones going then. So let's see, the All Night Mask. Oh, yeah, it was. But it got me a couple heart pieces, and that was about it. Still better than saving five grand to get a heart piece. Oh, cow! see the Bremen mask <laughs> oh don't all of them I wonder if there's like other places where you could use the Bremen's mask besides like getting the bunny hood or like at the what was that at the castle Ikana castle there during that mini boss fight there but all right, let's see, the Gorman mask? Or Troop Leader's mask? Oh, actually, they call it the the Circus Leader's mask, I think, in the Nintendo 64 version. I don't know why they made that little change there. But you can say that about almost every change in this version compared to the original. I mean, they're not, at least to me, they're not horrible, just oddly specific. But, yeah, we, we took care of the guy. 
So let's see the Gibdo mask. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, it is. I thought it was just scaring the hell out of people, but whatever works for you guys. But all right, let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's get our blast mask going there and all this other stuff. Put this in your, uh, whatever that thing is you got on your back there. Oh, it is? Well, I suppose for, for the old lady who gave it to us. <laughs> Grateful that we didn't explode her merchandise. But, okay, let's see. Bunny Hood! <laughs> My favorite non-transformation mask in the game. Ah, <laughs> But I suppose that was the... What is it? Requirement for getting the bunny hood? Getting all the little cuckoos in line and grown up and everything? Cafe's mask. Oh, yeah, she was. I got a letter for her, though. So that seemed to work out okay. That's... Your princess is in another castle? No. No. But all right, let's see the Garrow's mask. <laughs> oh, I am? I suppose. I mean, we got that from the racetrack, but I don't think those guys were courageous or anything, so... Yeah, I don't know what he's going on about there. But let's see, all right. D oh. I was like, wait a minute, where'd my mask go on the Y button there? I couldn't tell. It would be hilarious if this guy just couldn't see you while you were wearing the stone mask. But, no, apparently not. But, uh, well, yeah, that's kind of required to be a Let's Player. But, alright. Let's see, what is it? Don Jero's mask? Yes, okay, I wasn't sure if I remembered the guy's name correctly. I almost said Don Corneo, but, uh, no, that's another game, viewers. But, uh, yeah, I suppose it is kind of operatic. I don't know if I'd call it an opera, but whatever works. Let's see the couple's mask. There we go. Ah. A lot of these masks are like that, really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it took me three days to get the whole thing through that side quest. Love how they had so much going on with that particular quest line there. And let's see, the captain's hat. Not much, really much of a hat, but goes on your head, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that seemed to work pretty well for us there. This is not the mask you are looking for. Move along. Hmm. I don't know that he would be able to say anything about the... What is it? The giant's mask. Well, I can't wear it here, so... Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Kind of looks like, what's his name, uh, uh, Darth Tyrannus. <laughs> but it's all, like, gray and everything, but, uh, yeah, the Great Fairy's Mask, of course. Didn't even need that in the Stone Temple, did we? I don't think there was any fairies that was like that, that were far away, but, uh, but all right. Let's see, the Mask of Sense. Oh, he was? Or she was? Or however? Oh, we, right, we got that from the the Deku butler guy, whatever, there. After that race. Well, not really much of a race, but it was there. Let's see, the Mask of Truth! <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, that does seem to be helpful. Not so much on people, though. But whatever works there. But, uh, yeah, if there's more that I can get out of... Uh, what is it? Out of the Happy Mask Salesman, let me know. But as far as I know... Let's see. I don't think there's a way... Yeah, we can't use the Fierce Deities mask there. But let's see. I think he doesn't say anything new since we already talked to him as Deku Link. So, yeah. Yeah, same thing as before there. But at least time isn't passing while we're in this clock. Let's see. Oh, right. I already talked to him as Goron Link there. Let's try that one again. But, uh, well, I did the best I could with your song, dude. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, same stuff as before. Okay. Well, if there's anything more I can do with this stuff, uh, let me know, and I'll show it, uh, well, I'll show it in the next episode. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to put the Fierce Deities mask to use against the boss, or the major bosses of the game in the four temples there because well you can wear it in those in the boss chamber only uh do you want something dude no not really much of a reaction huh maybe he's trying to eat me because i smell like a fish i don't know but yeah so that's what i want to do with the the fierce deity mask there because it substantially changes all the boss fights uh, that does remind me about one thing, as long as I've got the, Go the Zora mask on. If you know of a way to defeat Georg's second form with the, or second phase with the Fierce Deity mask, let me know. But if it is possible, it looks like it's really tricky. Because the only way you could really do anything with the Fierce Deity mask is if you're above water so, so like maybe if i created an ice platform with the ice arrows and then waited for georg to get close enough so i could get a target lock and then hit him with the sword beams but that seems like it'd be really really fickle to pull off and once you're in the water you can't do anything with the fierce deity mask you can't take out your sword or sink to the bottom or Otherwise, damage Georg in the second phase in any way. At least, not as far as I know. I mean, if you know anything, let me know. But otherwise, I know the other major bosses can be defeated only with the Fierce Deity mask there. But how can we defeat them in the Nintendo 64 version of the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!